eight blue cards. And these are all real tweets. These are all real tweets. But the questions are fake news, written by Anderson Pinckney. You have questions by the fake news journalists on the red cards. How did you greet your daughter's first boyfriend, right? The 20-year-old created the card game Trump Tweets. So we have Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, Bernie Sanders, Barack Obama, and Mitt Romney. Wow. Players uh, okay. use the tweets as punchlines. Uh, let's do this one. Or answers to the questions. Russia adds a random card because they like to meddle with the game. And players decide who wins. How did you greet your daughter's first boyfriend? Bernie Sanders said, we are a democracy, not a one-man show. Donald Trump says, I would do the same thing if I were China. And Bernie Sanders said, I will do everything I can to stop these pipelines and protect our planet for future generations. <laughs> I have to say the last one, the last burning tweet. Gotcha. That was mine. Pinkney is a game design major at Champlain College. If a monster was attacking you in the dark, what would you yell to defend yourself? But this is something he's worked on outside of class in his free time for the last nine months. Donald Trump says, I too have a nuclear button, but it is a much bigger and more powerful one than his and my button works. I go through each Twitter user's account on Twitter and I just scroll through the live feed and there's hundreds and hundreds of tweets that are available, but only a select few actually make it into the game. This is just a prototype. They might not be the full tweet, but they have a full segmentation of the tweet. Now he's looking for the funding to make it something people can buy. I would love to get funded and really be able to share my ideas, but uh, my goal is just to have people be able to play my game and uh, really enjoy it. Even if they're not into politics. I think. The core like ideology of the game is not to make fun of politics or get upset over it. It's really to get past the political nastiness that, out there. Finding some common ground and maybe something to smile about. If Russia were to win, uh, the rule is everyone has to tweet something nice about politics. You have three, I have one, and Russia has two. In Burlington, Renee Wonderlich. Way to go, Renee. Up top. Mm -hmm. NBC5 News. Uh, she got an up top there. Yeah, all right. All right.